the literature on online discussions, uh, the first thing that stands out are the, the inadequacies of online discussions, why they don't work well. So the first one that we, we really focused on was not engaging students in higher order thinking. That's a, that's a glaring inadequacy um, and something that comes up uh, time after time in the literature. Uh, the second is not allowing uh, the co-construction of knowledge uh, and reflection for students. Uh, and then third, bearing pertinent information uh, in the discussion posts. Uh, so those are some of the things we had in mind as we were looking at the use of digital power-ups in online discussions. So again, on that, that point of architecture of engagement, uh, this comes from Rodensky. He calls it assisted freedom of choice. So the idea is that we're allowing students to have choice but we're, we're guiding them in those decisions, right? So we, we have three or four options for them. They can choose two or three of those. So it is choice, but we're, we're guiding that choice. Uh, the next is providing a rationale, helping the students understand why this matters. And that is really important when it comes to uh, self-determination theory and looking at autonomy for students, uh, providing that rationale. And then secondly, also uh, allowing some personalization. That comes out in the literature as well. So not only are we providing a rationale, but we're also going to make uh, this personally, uh, something personally relevant for the students. But where we utilized it is we always wanted to have a classroom interaction activity. We called it a CIA. And when I say we, both Travis and I have both actually taught this course. Um, and so this discussion, uh, we Every week, the students would engage with each other in an online discussion forum. And so as Travis described, a lot of those issues that we were seeing with the quality of discussions, uh, we wanted to do something different. Uh, basically, what they will do is they look at the prompt. So for example, this would be the prompt for their week. After they have done the reading, they would then write out uh, a paragraph, about two to three sentences, for each of the power-ups that they were using. So they're just really responding uh, to that prompt. And then they put that hashtag at the end of that paragraph for whichever power up they were using. So if they were using the remember, they would have a hashtag remember at the end of that paragraph. If they were doing the analyze, they would have about a paragraph and then hashtag analyze. In some cases, on the ones where they did create, they would actually make a video and then do a hashtag create as part of their post. To kind of circle back, one was not engaging students in higher order thinking. So what we did there uh, is we had the students use two to three of the power-ups uh, as they created their responses in, this, in the discussion forum. Second, not allowing co-construction of knowledge and reflection. Uh, we also had the students using the power-ups in the comments to their peers. This, this really did prompt co-construction and allow the students to uh, interact and engage a lot more than, than maybe they have in the past uh, in that course. And then third, bearing pertinent uh, discussion posts. This was using the likes. It's actually two separate things. One is allowing the likes, and the second is sorting by likes. And so as Courtney said, the students were actually curating every discussion forum, making those higher quality posts move to the top. So instead of them just seeing the newest post, they were actually seeing the better or the higher quality posts. Uh, so one student said they add focus and intent. Power-ups help eliminate most cheap content poor responses. That's, uh, that's from a student. That is from a student. <laughs> Another student finally here said, they allow me to make connections that are important to me and relevant to me, which is fantastic. That's, that's what we were trying to do. Another thing that came out from the student comments at the end of the semester was that by using the power-ups in the discussion, it actually changed the way that they approached the content because they knew they couldn't just regurgitate some information. Oh, I totally agree.